What is up my thrifty friends? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous hump day. Uh, I'm so excited. We're here at Valley Village. We're going to go sourcing today. We're going to go to three stores at least. We're going to go to Valley Village um, and then we're going to go to the two buy sell trade stores and I'm just kind of looking for brands that maybe fly under their radar um, that I can get some good money for. So something that I was like that really lit the fire under me today was yesterday. I don't know if you guys remember, but I bought two dresses at uh, Plato's Closet a couple weeks ago and both of them were from Revolve. One was a Nisa and the other one was a Sailor. Well, the Sailor dress sold yesterday for I think like $84. I also sold a Farm Rio dress that I had that was new at Tag. I did some retail arbitrage last year and I think that sold for like uh, don't quote me I don't know I think it was like 130 140 so the fire is lit under me I want to go and find some dresses and brands that maybe I don't normally pick up or that I don't even know about that are new to me and I'm, I'm a woman on a mission today and then obviously just looking for anything that I can flip quick and hopefully make some money on I'm really starting to focus on material content as well because I feel like the thrifts and the buy sell trades they're kind of like onto the brands that hold value and they're they're marking them at like very close to our resale price I don't know locally for me so I think that the profit margins getting too small in those items and I have to start expanding my knowledge I have to grow my business I have to try and learn other ways and other items to sell so that I can keep that profit margin because I know there's like a million brands that I do not know that still sell very well so welcome to the journey as we learn together and uh, yeah hopefully we find some stuff all right, I'm gonna drink some water. It's super smoky here. So our province, Saskatchewan, and the province of Alberta are having like crazy fires everywhere. Um, we haven't had rain in a, like, I think we had rain once this spring and it's been like plus 30 degrees Celsius. It's just very dangerous. So anyways, the winds have blown all the smoke into Saskatoon where I live and my like throat is affected. My sinuses are affected. I'm still not 100% like from that cold I caught in January I'm probably like 80% I still deal with a little bit of sinuses and some cough but I feel like super triggered with this smoke in the air so if you notice that I just don't sound right it's it's the air quality right now and yeah it, it's going to be sticking around and I don't see rain in the future so I just I can't hide in my house for the next three weeks that's just not going to work for me so I'm out here just toughing it out okay drink my water, and then let's go in and see what we can find. Oh my gosh, what are these? Oh, they're so cute. Just what I've been looking for. They need a little bit of love, but a nice pair of boule cowboy boots. Oh my gosh, so excited and a good price. Score. Beautiful. 
Oh my gosh, my little pony. I always look at the mugs and think, how many hundred dollar vintage Starbucks cups do I pass over just because I don't know what I'm looking for? Like at all. At all. I don't know how people spot them. Am I missing anything? Do you see a thousand dollar Starbucks anywhere? <laughs> Bad, but let's go over what I found in the vehicle. I looked through the dress section, guys. I looked through, I don't know, 500 dresses. I looked up comps on probably 30 of them. So I'm looking at material content, style, and tag quality. I'm looking for tags that just look like better quality. There's a lot of just junky stuff. Um, yeah. I did not learn any new brands. <laughs> I feel like I let you guys down, but I did find a couple good finds. First one, of course, I picked up those Boule boots. They are in a size seven and a half, which is pretty good. I think if they would have been like under a seven, I don't know, I would have been a little bit slower to pick them up, but that's a decent size, pretty good condition. I'm gonna just give them a little bit of, um, I might give them a little bit of Wonder Balm. I'm actually not sure. If you have any advice on how to, clean up cowboy boots let me know i'm all year all ears and i don't think i'll get those listed for probably like a week or two i suck at listing shoes next find was this arcteryx dress they had it priced at 20 dollars. i had a 20 percent off coupon so i paid 16 bucks for it this dress i'm gonna say is pro it's like a neutral tone it has like a nice stretch to it side pockets that's the logo you're looking for and this is a newer tag so I definitely love finding these newer tags I'm gonna say this dress probably retails for over hundred and fifty dollars because I just sold a pair of men's arcteric shorts and the retail value on those were 120 Canadian which is just a pair of shorts so I'm thinking that dress should be good I'm hoping for over seventy five dollars for it I don't know I don't know. Uh, next up is this Lululemon jacket. It's a 2020 jacket. I love the color of it. I love the style of it. Uh, it did retail for $128. I already looked it up. They had it priced at $30, which is a little bit high, but I saved that 20%, so I only paid $24 bucks for it. I feel like I can sell this for over $70 and i might even see if one of my kids wants to keep it first so i'm gonna see if em wants it because it's definitely up her alley for style but if not i should be able to make 30 bucks off this jacket which i'm totally fine with okay we are going to let's throw this stuff back in here we're going to continue on our way because this is not enough items to list this week um i need some more items to list and my pile is getting a little bit low so let's head to the next store and see what we can find. Okay, as I'm pulling out of here, I was just thinking, I'm like, okay, this wasn't like that big of a haul, but this actually was a value haul. Uh, okay, so the cost of goods for all three items would have been $55. First bill was $40, um, second bill was $15. So yeah, $55. Bucks. And if the dress sells for, we'll say $70, and the jacket sells for 70 that's 140 and those boots i'm hoping for 70 dollars as well i did see i don't know if anyone follows him but john resells he's from the east coast and i swear it was him that just shared on his instagram that he sold a pair of cowboy boots for 85 dollars on posh so if i can get 70 that's like 
$210 and I spent 55. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So those are pretty good flips. So I should be more excited. I didn't find a ton of items, but I found some really good value items. All right, we're gonna head to the buy, sell, trade stores. I haven't been there, oh my gosh, in like a week. And again, I'm gonna comb through the dress section because that's where I found those Revolt dresses. And I'm hoping to find a couple new brands, things that I don't normally pick up that maybe have a surprising value. If I can grab them for like 20, $25 and they sell for, you know, 80 to 100, I'm okay with that. That's, those are the, the, those are the type of sales I'm actually looking for the most, but uh, you can't win them all, right? You can't win them all. Okay, we're gonna get going and uh, I'll see you there. Oh my gosh, why is the parking lot so busy here? Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Okay, we're just gonna pull up, park, and go in. I never bring a bag in this store, and here's the truth. I used to have this like, oh, I can't get out, it's super windy here. Okay, we're gonna try it. I used to have this superstition that if I didn't bring a bag into the thrift store, that I would find a ton of stuff. And for like the first year, I never brought a bag in and I would literally at the till as they were running my items through, would run out to my car and grab a, a reusable bag. Cause I was like, if I don't bring a bag and I, and I don't, um, it would, it was like the opposite would always happen. So I do bring a bag in now. Cause most of the time I have a donation that I'm trying to get a coupon for but into the buy sell trades i don't normally bring a bag so let's just hope that i'm like you know reminiscent from my beginner days of reselling and i'm gonna find a ton of stuff okay i hope i find a ton of stuff let's go see if we can find some new brands hoping these were like a different brand. They're so cool, but not Forever 21. Oh man, these are wild looking. Burks, but $30, no. Kind of crazy looking. And then I really liked these, and these are Merle's. They look really comfortable, but again, they're priced at $19, which I think is just a bit too much. So I didn't bring the bag in the car and I found so many items. So I'm just running out to my car to grab a bag. Maybe it's something I need to do more often. Oh, my Lanta. I don't think I have a bag big enough. I need an Ikea bag. Ah, hallelujah. Here we go. Big one. Okay, I gotta go in and pay and then we're gonna do this haul. Oh my 
gosh. Oh, that was crazy. I did some damage. I'm not even alive. Hold on. Ugh. I'm not even gonna lie. I spent some money in there, uh, $270 to be exact, but I found some really good stuff. I found a huge Bolo brand that I think I actually learned about in today's trends on Poshmark. And I remember like thinking about it and I'm like, hmm, okay, mentally note that, make sure I'm looking out for it. But um, let's go over what I found. I am just so blown away. It's so crazy. Like I was like, I'm not going to bring a bag. I used to do this. And then I would find crazy amount of stuff. I did not bring a bag in and I found a crazy amount of stuff. Okay. So first off, this is a new to me brand. I don't know if it's a huge bolo, but when I, it had a couple factors for it. So the first it's called the corner. It's kind of a boutique brand. Uh, they definitely do like linen kind of log and look, um, maybe like minimalist style, uh, prairie kind of stuff. But anyways, it's like a salmon colored linen blend dress and they had it priced at $14. I feel like I can sell this at minimum for 50. So I was okay with that new brand to me. And uh, it was just, I don't know how, like I don't know how to describe what types of things you should be looking at. I think if it is linen or linen blend, modal, tensile, lyocell, any type of material content like that, I definitely think you should look up the brand and try and see if that item has more value. Uh, for this one, it was like the way the tag was. I don't know why, but it was like the nice little printing. It was the detail in the in the brand. And that's what made me look it up. Also, I could tell it was a linen blend dress. But yeah, that's a cool find. New to me, I'll definitely look them up every time I find them. I found these and I haven't picked up dem denim form in a long time because usually it's priced high and they don't sell as well as a Goldie. A Goldie holds a much higher value. So these were the Farrah High Rise, which I was like, mm, I've sold those before. Again, they're not holding as much value, but this is the wide leg 28 pant. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And I looked up solds on Poshmark. I feel like these will sell for over $80. I'm going to list them high and I'm even hoping for a hundred. I saw a sold for a hundred dollars and their pictures weren't even great. So I was like, Hey, I can get some money for those. And I think the factors were that they were wide leg, wide leg. And I like the color of them. Um, kind of like that medium wash next up. We the free, you know, I grabbed that. Oh man. I love free people stuff. It just, it's classic. It's timeless. Their style is generally timeless, like within the last eight years. So pretty easy flip. Uh, another one that I don't normally grab is Cloth and Stone. This is an anthropology brand, but why I grabbed this, you can't see it in the vehicle, but it's actually a jumpsuit and it's made out of tensile material. Very, very soft. They were asking $12 for it. And I feel confident that I'll be able to get over $50 for this. I'm hoping for like over 60. Sold comps were all over the place, but it's Tencel. It's an anthro brand. It's a jumpsuit, which jumpsuits are kind of trending. I'm, I feel like they're doing pretty good in my closet right now. So yeah, it just had some factors that kind of stacked. And I think it'll be something I'll take a chance on. Uh, next is a pair of Wilfred. I think these are the Co Cohen pant or Conan. They're like a trouser pant, tapered leg, 18 bucks. I won't pay over 20 anymore. Size four. Actually, I'm going to see if Lena wants these. She is working at a restaurant where like, it's kind of a nice restaurant. She has to wear all black. Um, it has to be dressy clothes. And she actually took a pair of my Wilfred pants um when she first started there and these are really lightweight maybe they would be good for um summer funny story actually she went and bought i think they're the effortless shorts and they're kind of like um i don't know what the inseam would be like eight inches or nine inches or something like a dressy short that she could wear serving that's you know presentable i don't i don't even know the word i'm looking for anyways um I was doing laundry and I pulled them out of the dryer and I didn't wash them because she washes her own laundry. She's 20 years old and 
I pull at these shorts and I was like, these look like they shrunk. And right away, I look at the material content tag, wool blend. I was like, I taught you better than this. I taught you better than this. So I go downstairs and I'm like, uh, did you throw these in the wash? She's like, well, yeah. I'm like, Lena, they're a wool blend. They're Aritzia. Like you can't put them in the wash. You have to hand wash them. She's like, I didn't know they had wool in them. I'm like, you need to read the tags. I said, I don't like, I'm sure they're actually nice for summer because wool material is actually really nice in summer and it's sweat wicking. It's actually has like a cooling factor to it. But I was like, I don't think these are like the right choice for shorts, especially if you're getting food and stuff on them and you have to wash them all the time. I'm like, can you just go to dynamite or somewhere and get a pair of like $25 shorts to wear? But I'm not her, it's not my money. I just was like, you are those people that shrink all their ritzia stuff. Uh, next up is this beautiful Wilfred floral dress. I love it. It has like balloon sleeves. It's an off the shoulder style. It's just, ugh. it has like that accordion material. Very lightweight, perfect for summer. Uh, ooh, new with tags. Look at this, $148, size large. Uh, Wilfred Aritzia and this one is a jumpsuit it's in a size large I think I'm actually gonna try this on for myself I don't know I need to like keep some nicer things for myself in case we have to do something or go to an event this summer but I think I'm gonna list it high if it sells it sells if it doesn't it's meant to be but I will list high this one jumped out to me in the long dress section free people i'm gonna say it's either cotton or linen blend and the strap is cinched right up on it but anyways it's like a dress i think it's a dress let's see yeah button down kind of like a maxi dress striped cute love it uh another brand i don't find often but for the right price i will pick it up and it is faithful the brand this was $14 it's very like coastal cowgirl with a jean jacket cowboy boots that white paisley kind of maxi dress style so yep I will take that getting down to the end I promise uh next I grabbed these Birkenstock Papilio I don't even know how to say that um wedge sandals cork bed wedge sandals 10 bucks pretty good i got a new hat for myself a lululemon one new with tags 22 bucks i'm pretty sure these aren't even like that much brand new but i didn't have to go to lululemon and spend more money so that was easy another top that i'm keeping for myself babaton a nice brown one i think this would look cute with a pair of jeans and flat sandals this summer and then the last item that i found is another aritzia item wilfred summer dress i can't even show you to me this is like almost a bridesmaid color so yeah very cute i love it oh my gosh there's so much stuff in here so that was a success. I'm happy with that. I feel like here I have over a thousand dollars worth of sales. So that's um, 270. I should be able to double, maybe even triple my investment on quite a few of the pieces. Some really good prices. I just, yeah, I was blown away. All right, we're gonna make one more stop, but it's gonna be a quick one. Cause I feel like I have spent enough Oh, what I didn't show you. Oh my gosh, the huge bolo. I was saving it for the end. Um, okay, here is the huge bolo. I don't know if you've ever found it, but it's Raining Champ and it is a men's brand, um, handcrafted in Canada. It is just a sweater, just a sweater. And I looked up sold comps and I feel like, I feel like I might be able to get a hundred bucks for this. So I'm excited. I don't know if it's just a Canadian bolo brand or if it's sweeping into the States yet, but I'll show you one more time. Raining Champ. You want to find it. So that was like my crazy find. And they had it priced. Oh, hold on. Let's look. 
16 bucks. $16. And if it sells for like $80, $100, even $70, that is a good flip. Okay, let's head over to the last store and then I gotta call it a day sourcing because this is this is a good day sourcing. wasn't bad i have a new brand to share with you guys which i'm excited about i am pushing myself guys this is a new tabs like there's some there's a lot of old tabs left but this is a new tabs that is trying new stuff so the first item let's oh my gosh i'm such a mess first item is this brand nile and the reason why i looked it up number one it's the tone of it it's this gorgeous like green color it's linen material but I look and it's a jumpsuit I looked it up and this retails for over $200 it was like 228 Canadian so not a lot of solds um definitely a log and look style so I'm gonna take a chance on it and I'll show you the tag one more time Niall if you see it make sure you look it up and then also this metal tag was on it too so that's another brand notification but yeah wide leg linen jumpsuit oh gorgeous gorgeous free people size small like paisley tunic dress with like blue sleeves gorgeous free people size large which i rarely find and it's like has crocheted sleeves ribbed love this so cute i feel like i'm saying that like i just love everything i thrifted today okay so here is i'm gonna tell you guys a little thing here i know i talked about recently how like you have to find what works for you in your oh my god this dust is disgusting um what works for you in your business and what works for you might be different than works for me and we can all run unique businesses and so i recently found some rails long sleeve shirts and uh, I had a couple of people in the comments that were like, I never sell Rails. Rails doesn't do good for me. Kind of basically like it's an older brand. So retail Rails shirts are like 150, 175 to 250 here in Canada. And I listed three Rails shirts, I think last week or the week before. Two of them sold on an offer for $107 I think maybe it was $127 I don't know it was over $100 so I was paying like $4 and $8 I think for the shirts those are great flips I'm happy I didn't listen to other people's comments that were like that brand doesn't sell for me because it sells for me and it sold in my closet today I'm out and I picked up three more like those rail shirts sold within a week within a week that's so crazy so i grabbed three more and we'll see how they do i paid ten dollars each for these so they they weren't as low cost as the um other ones i had picked up but ten dollars and if they sell for 50 60 i'm doing good i will list high allow room for people to put them in bundles and uh make an offer so this is what the rails top looks like i recommend google lensing them 
to try and get like the actual colors and style of them because there are people that are looking for very specific styles of rails. Um, first one, black, black and white plaid. I love this one. This is probably my favorite one. Next is, and I act, and I was um, style tagging them as bohemian or I don't know, maybe I didn't. I think I style tagged them as Western, Southwestern, and the ones that sold, I tagged as coastal. I have another one, I'll show you that one, but this one I would do like Western, Southwestern, rodeo. Here's another, this is a blue one. I think this definitely has like a Western vibe to it. And then this one, I'm gonna style tag as coastal. And I think this is exactly the one that I sold. Um, so yeah, I love the color of it. Very cute. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to be able to find these shirts here for $10 anymore. And the reason being is that they had a new one come in today with the tags on it. And when she rang me through, she was like, oh, Rails. She's like, oh, these were mistagged. I'm like, no, I think that's the going rate here for you guys is about $10. And she's like, yeah, but we just got one with new tags for... I think it was, yeah, I think it was $250 was the tag on it. And they priced it at like $84. I'm like, okay, well, I will never pay $84 for these shirts, but I will pay $10. So I think I just scooped up my last haul from this buy, sell, trade store at $10. I don't think I'm going to find these again because they are onto the brand now. So that kind of sucks for me, but whatever. I will take this last little haul of them. So yeah. Good stuff, lots of good items. I'm excited to be learning new brands. So we got a couple new brands today and uh, I'm gonna call that a win because I I'm I just have to take the time. Like sourcing today has taken a little bit longer. Uh, I've been out, I was in Valley Village at nine and I think it's about 12.30. So I've been out about three and a half hours, but I found really good stuff. Like, yeah, I think I just need to slow down and comp check more things check more categories categories that I don't normally check and really just like looking for material content and comp checking that's what's going to get me ahead right now uh okay well let's go home I'm going to have some lunch and then I have a little bit of cleaning up to do and I wanted to chat a little bit after okay I'm going to get going I gotta eat some lunch I'm starving like I could chew off my arm right now and uh we'll chat soon Hey cow dog. Hello. How are you? Oh, you're just having a little nappy nap. Oh yeah. How's your day been? It's probably just quiet here. <laughs> Ooh, let's open the blinds. Uh, oh gosh, it's a mess here, as usual. There we go. Um, with it being so hot here the last couple days, I just shut all the blinds and my office is up on the second floor so it gets scorching hot. It's also a south facing window so it's just boiling hot in these rooms. Uh, so yeah, I shut all the blinds and just keep it kind of dark in here. Okay, so I have been thinking more about what I talked about on Monday and it was like changing my business and pivoting and I wanted to kind of share some of the things I'm doing that I think other people and you may already do it maybe you don't but I think this might help others start to pivot their business as well and maybe it's like for me personally it's the brands that I normally carry and that I sell the most of the prices are just getting really high in the secondhand stores and the profit margin is getting a lot smaller. So it's becoming harder to make money off some of the items that I sell. Not everything, but some of the items I'm selling. So I am using this as an opportunity to grow my knowledge and grow my business. And I'm a firm believer in it's fruitful out there. There's more than enough secondhand clothing for all of us. And there's lots of good stuff out there to find. I used to always think when I started reselling, like there's just no good brands here. Um, I live in a small city, right? In a province that doesn't have a big population. It's more farming people out here. There's just like nothing good here. And 
it was because I didn't know all the brands that I should be looking for. So as I became a better reseller, um, I learned some brands that were actually pretty readily available locally. And it's made me a lazy reseller. Like I, I'm a lazy reseller. I know you guys are going to be like, you're not lazy, but I am because when something works for me and it's easy to wash, rinse, repeat, I keep doing it. I'm looking for max efficiency in my business so that my hourly wage is the highest, right? So when I spend the least amount of time in my business, um, I make more hourly, right? But yeah, it's just, it. I don't think it's quite working for me the way it was in um, previous years. So this is what I am doing going forward. And just like going thrifting today and going to buy, sell trades and like just secondhand shopping, I learned that I could do more than what I think I've given myself credit. And I think, whoa, playing with a, with a Poshmark pen, um, I think you can do more as well than you give yourself credit for. And I don't mean like more like work harder, but I mean, um, like expand your business or expand your brand knowledge or find new things. I think we can all do this. So here are some tips. This is what I did today going out. I picked a couple categories that I don't spend a lot of time in and I'm kind of lazy. I only look for certain things in there. And I told myself to flip every hanger if it was a good quality material or the tag looked like it could be an expensive brand. Um, or even just a brand I didn't recognize, I comp searched it and I comp searched a lot of stuff today. There were a couple points where I would just like throw things like I'll comp search that later, but generally I was trying to do it as I was looking. Now at Value Village, I didn't find too many new to me brands, but I didn't do a very thorough scoop. I actually wish I would have spent more time and I keep saying to myself, I need to spend more time at Value Village because in a lot of ways that's where I can get the lowest cost of goods if something is mispriced or the thrift store misses it. When I start to go buy, sell, trade Avenue or whatever, um, it gets a little bit harder because their base pricing for my local stores is just a little bit higher than Value Village. So yeah, I was looking for material content tags I didn't recognize, comp searching, comp searching, comp searching. Then when I went to Plato's and Style Encore, I went to, so recently in the last week, I've sold two of those rails button downs. So I was going into that category and I was looking for any other rail shirts they have. They were charging $10 a shirt. I'm fine with that. Like I said, if they sell for 50 or 60 bucks, I'm laughing. That's good. I'm happy with it. That's good in my books. So the other thing that I've sold two of, which I told you guys about, were those dresses. I sold that sailor dress and I sold um, a farm real one. So I think those full length maxi dresses was um, are, are items that I need to look at more and jumpsuits because jumpsuits, jumpsuits seem pretty popular. Um, I try and look at categories where I probably will find more substantial pieces. So like tank tops and sleeveless blouses are usually my last section to go to. That's the honest truth. I don't find as much as many items there that are substantial that will bring, you know, over $50 that are priced under 10 because usually those those tops are still priced the same as a long sleeve, but typically I'm getting less than I would for a long sleeve. So right now it's like dresses, uh, long sleeve blouses, sweaters. I'm still, as long as sweaters are out there, I will go through the sweater section. Same with jackets. I'm going to continue to go through jackets as long as they have them out. I'm really surprised because they still have jackets out for us locally. I mean, I guess it's, it's still May. It's not summer yet, but I was expecting them to pull those racks, but yeah. So I will continue to go through those and, uh, I'm just trying to find new brands. So I did find a couple new brands today and the result, like getting to that point of finding those was just comp searching. I comp searched a lot of stuff. Haven't done that in a long time. Um, yeah, but it lit the fire under me. It lit the fire that I could find more and I could expand my business without buying the same old brands that I normally find. And I just have to do more comp searching. So here's my tips. I don't know if they help. I hope they do because this is just literally what I'm applying into my own business. And uh, also for comp searching, because some of the items uh, I 
didn't find solds on Poshmark Canada or there wasn't any solds on eBay or very many items listed. So I will just do a search, like a Google search on the item, find out where it's sold, what kind of items that brand sells. Is it a boutique item? Is it a foreign item? Like different, there's different factors to look at. But if it's like, if I look at their website and all their items typically are priced over $200, I'm going to start my price at probably 50% off of retail price. And then I will also like on Poshmark, you know, where you have the option to put original price. I will put the original price in there so that people know that this is an, this is a quality piece. This has value. I'm starting it at X dollars or whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah. I felt like today was a good day. I'm, I'm excited going forward. And if you're joining this journey with me of, growing my business and my brand knowledge we're doing this together so what i would love to hear is if there's been any like new to you brands and it doesn't matter if it's new to anyone else but if you found any new to you brands drop them down below i would love to just kind of like hear more brands and then maybe when i'm out i'll be like oh i saw a comment about that but yeah um and then the other little like bonus piece of advice i have is don't listen to what other people do. So even if, and this is so funny, I'm giving you advice that I'm saying, don't listen to what other people do. But like, if like, how do I say this? Um, I just think back to those, to those rail shirts. And I was like, if I would have like, it doesn't matter what sells for someone else, you have to try and fail on your own. That's what I'm trying to say. If someone shares their failures with you, and they're like, that brand doesn't sell for me, that never does good. Um, they're telling you that without giving you details, right? You don't know. I mean, there's a gazillion styles under every brand. There's different material contents. Like you don't know what they had under that brand and them saying it doesn't sell doesn't mean that you can't sell it. Um, so that's just my like bonus tip is that even if other people tell you this item doesn't sell for me or this item doesn't do good, or on the other hand, this item does great for me. I think each seller as an individual has to buy list and try themselves to see what works for them, what works for their business or their closet or their um, eBay store, whatever you have going on. Try things yourself without, um, without listening to what everyone else has to say. So put your blinders on, do your comp searching, try new things, and uh, we can do this. We can do this. I know we can do this. So yeah, that's it. All right. It's so weird ending videos sometimes, especially since these are not my typical style of video, but I'm really enjoying doing them. Kind of like hanging out with me for the day and then a little bit of a chat at the end. I hope you guys enjoy these. If they bring value to your reselling business, make sure to give me a thumbs up and tap subscribe on the way out. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. I am wishing you all many sales and I will see you next time. Bye.